what is the money or wealth corner in feng shui and how can it make you rich or at least bring you to the path of becoming rich. So the money or wealth corner is a place in your home which you place things which represent money and more importantly, the growth of money. So by having these things in your home in the right place, you manifest this wealth entering your life and if anything, it simply reminds you that you like money so much and it gives you the comfort that you have done all these lucky things and put all these lucky charms in the corner that is most powerful in your home. Okay, so without further ado, how do you find the money corner in your home? In feng shui, there are four ways to do this. So the first way is in your home, the furthest, deepest corner from your home that is still visible from the door. So let's bring, let's look at this door over here. The deepest corner, let's use this as the entrance. The deepest corner of my home that is visible is either here, here, here. This is deeper, but it's not visible, so not there. This is very deep as well, but it's not visible. So it's one of these three corners. So that's the way number one and the most effective, easiest way to do it. The second way to do it is you use the Pa Kwa map, which is this feng shui grid-like map which you use for everything. Because in feng shui, every part of the home has a certain significance. Like you have parts of the home which is very good for studying, very good for making love. And of course, there's parts of the home that's very good for bringing in money. And that's where the money corner is. So you place your home's plan on this map and it will tell you where the best corners of everything is. So usually you place the bottom which is the career path at the entrance direction. So like how I'm doing now, which means that the money corner is in the toilet. I mean, <laughs> so this is wrong. So you wouldn't put it in the toilet, you put it like next best thing over there. So if we follow this rule over here using the Bakwa map way, the money corner is actually over here. So this method stems from, it's like almost like, a, um, this is method number two, but I wouldn't really call it a method because it's almost like a, an oversimplification. So how does this work was this originally came from the compass. So this is the compass. Normally you place it like that. So the career path is facing north, the fame is facing south, and more importantly, money corner is always southeast. This brings us to the third method. You use the same map, but you superimpose not with a floor plan, but with a compass. And the money corner is represented by the southeast because that's where the sun rises. So the sun rises, there's lots of nice rejuvenating energy and happy energy. You know, the sun is rising, it represents growth, and that is why the money corner is always on this side. So this is rule number three. You see on the plan where is the southeast. So in this plan, southeast is over here, which means that this is my money corner, strangely enough. Now the reason, so this is rule, this is method number three. The reason I say method number two where you superimpose is an oversimplification is because some people's houses, they don't have like, they, are, they don't exactly face north, south, east, west. So to make things easier for people, it just says, go to your house, find the furthest left corner. Which sometimes is right, but sometimes is wrong. Like in this case, it's wrong. <laughs> so you have to be aware of how the method works before you can kind of know. And the fourth method is to know your lucky direction, your personal lucky direction. So, okay, not everybody is particularly good with early morning sunrise. Some of us, we work better late at night. Some of us, we, um, we don't really like to wake up so early. It makes us tired and lethargic. So every person has a different preference or destiny in that sense. And everyone has their certain lucky directions. So for some people, their lucky directions might be this one here. And that's a prosperity direction. For others, it might be here. So this depends on how you react to your environment. So um, doing this, this is a bit more complicated. You have to check your date of birth and calculate your lucky directions. But this is the last priority. Look at your house first before even engaging in this thing. So I would say, look at your house first. And so after I talk so much, four different methods, which is the one to use? There's no single one to use. You look at your situation, okay? In fact, I would say a combination of all of them. You go through your door, and it needs to be far from the door so that you can bring the wealth into the belly of your home. It needs to be visible so that the money can find its way in because money has eyes. So that is the first rule. It totally makes sense. Second rule is that let's say the furthest corner is here. 
But this furthest corner, on the outside, this is like one gigantic building blocking the light, making it super dark and dingy and all their bins outside. It's not a very nice place. So you want to acknowledge the fact that the money corner comes with where the sunlight is. And so my money corner bring uh, shifts over here. So that's why we bring set rule number two to merge with rule number one. I mean rule number two slash three. And then you also see like your lucky directions if there's still option to move. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the money corner needs to be in a part that of your home that's quite deep, far from the door, and it also needs to have good energy, good light, and makes you feel good about it. That's all. Simple as that. Okay, so now once you have found your, your money corner, what do you put inside? You put things that remind you of money, like this hungry frog. Um, so this frog loves money, so you put the coin in his mouth, her mouth, she's a lady, and you put it inside. Or you can put this lucky beckoning cat, waving, waving, bringing in money. Or you can put plants to represent growth. Plants represent go oops, growth and it's good for money. But you don't have to use all these feng shui things. You can use anything that represents wealth and money or even a, like a piggy bank. Anything that's culturally relevant to you. The most important thing is that it needs to be meaningful to you so that when you put the coin into your piggy bank every day, it reminds you that of your quest of money, of your love of money and how it will make its way into your life. So that is how to find your money corner, what's the meaning of the money corner, and what to put in the money corner in a nutshell. So now you know.